Yeah, hi, Max Lentz. It's Carlo Mondavi. I'm the Chief Farming Officer of Monarch Tractor. I'm one of the co-founders. So I'm a farmer. My family went from being a very large farm, you know, one of the largest, I think we we're the fifth largest in the world, to now I'm one of the smallest. We farm 18 and a half acres, and then my father farms about 70 acres. And so we have, uh, right now, all electric at, at rain, uh, which is one tractor at 18 and a half acres. And then uh, we have a, a tractor at Continuum as well. So we, we use Monarch Tractor for every task. Uh, that's the magic of the tractor. That it is first off, you can get in the tractor and drive it like a normal tractor. It operates like a normal tractor. There's a three point hitch in the back. There's the PTO. There's the um, hydraulic pump. All these things that operate just like a normal tractor. So when you look at your implement yard, you have a mower, you have a sprayer, you have a weeder, you have a tiller, whatever you have, it can hook up to any of these implements and automate those implements. So the best thing about the tractor is it's just like your normal tractor, except it's electric, drive-by-wire, autonomous, et cetera. So it makes farming incredibly more efficient and cleaner. So it's electrical, and, the, and what I've learned over the course of, of this whole journey is first off, electric is a superior vehicle. Uh, it's, it's the energy, it's, it's over 90% efficient. Um, you have twice the torque of a diesel uh, vehicle, which is like 20% efficient. So uh, in terms of just being able to actually get work done and with brute power, electric is better. So the battery pack is, is properly massive and it should be able to do a whole shift. So we say 14 plus hours, uh, that includes like brute tilling at like 10 hours plus. So a lot of, uh, it's got a lot of power. So all farms that, that uh, you know, I've worked on and have come across all have the ability to weld, right? You need to be able to weld in a farm to repair stuff. So this tractor charges off of a welder charger, essentially. Um, 80 amps will charge this tractor in about five hours. So that's on the grid charging. The cool thing and the ability is for us to, as a planet, go from a fossil fuel era farming into renewable farming, where we can use the same energy that grows our crops, uh, whether it's solar or wind or geothermal or hydro, renewable energy, to power our farms as well. It's very important. Yeah. Both, yeah. I, I you know, enjoy driving the tractor from time to time, but for things like spraying and mowing and under, under the vine weeding, we pop it into autonomous mode and allow for it to, to go. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we have, uh, so we just are launching today our digital app, Wingspan AI, which is how we manage the tractor. It's basically an app that allows us to connect to the tractor to see what the tractor is doing, how fast it's going, what the hitch height is, what's the PTO speed, what's the hydraulic pump, all these things. It allows for us to connect to the tractor and see all the different things that the tractor is doing in real time via our phone or a computer from anywhere in the world. We spent a lot of time making sure that this tractor would be economically viable for us in the farming community. Um, so, you know, it's, it's $88,000, which considering what this can do is a really, really good deal, especially with all the automation, electric power, all that stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. so that, that comes to the genius of my co-founders and our incredible team. Uh, Mark, who's, one of, who's our president and, and my co-founder, uh, he came from kind of the automotive world. We have a number of people in the company from aerospace and automotive. And what the kind of echoing within the walls has always been is if we can create a car for like less than 100,000 or like, you know, some of these electric vehicles that are 50,000 with all the windows and all the furnishings and the leather interior, then we should be able to create a tractor at that level, level of autonomy, level, level of re resilience and, and, and brute force um, for, for a good price. And so with the commoditization of autonomy and vehicles and uh, electrification and vehicles, the prices have been able to come down significantly, making it um, you know, far, more, far more so we can afford it in the, in the farming uh, world as well. In operation right now, we deployed what we call the Founder Series, the first you know, 50 some odd tractors. And then we're scaling right now with Foxconn, who has a 6.2 million. It's the largest auto manufacturing plant in the United States. And we have a line dedicated to Monarch. So it's really, we're gonna be able to start putting out a lot of tractors, which is exciting, which is going to help with our, our global demand. So you have 50 machines uh, already in operation? Uh... 50, machi 50 machines with customers, yeah, and working right now. So there's a couple things that tractors both need and are not ideal for farming. Soil compaction, for example, weight. You need the weight of a tractor to be able to pull an implement. You need to be able to counterbalance that. In fact, you see on a lot of tractors, they put weight on the front of tractors to counterbalance the back. So for me, the biggest thing in farming period would be uh, to deal with soil compaction and weight. So the first is to drive 
farmers to have greater profits, right? Greater profitability, number one for farmers. Number two, with that greater profitability, it means the tractor's being used more, and that means greater impact from Mother Earth. So we're weaning away from, you know, significant amount of, of fossil fuel. So in, in, in the metric tons of CO2 being saved. But uh, the other big thing that I'm excited about is the massive reduction of chemicals. So profitability for farmers, protect our climate, no more fossil fuel being burnt, uh, and, and the reduction of inputs and chemicals in agriculture, saving farmers money and our planet's biodiversity. Well, what we see right now is a lot of apps being developed by third parties because we're an open app system. So I see a lot of people coming in saying, hey, we want to connect our implement with an app to make it smarter via the kind of open app system that we have. So very similar to Apple or similar to Android, third parties can develop apps for our tractor for the digital space on the tractor, which you can then manage with your phone. You can see and connect through with the tractor, et cetera. So that's pretty, pretty exciting on that side. I see the same thing on implements. Because of this new automation side, we see implement companies developing new, new uh, revolutionary elements to their implement kind of ecosystem right now, but elevating it to be able to work with Monarch, which is exciting. All right, thank you very much for your time. Excellent, thank you, man.